Well, here's my um, my new project. Well, it's not new, it's old. Uh, the Mexican-American War with uh, the two sides. I'm starting with the Mexican side. But I have to tell you, what a fantastic history. It's something that's really not taught in the schools here. And a lot of people don't really think about it or realize much about this war, but it has a lot of similarities to what's happening in today's world between Russia and the Ukraine. We have, um, it's a very deep and very political, so I won't go into it because that's not my my um, my purpose here. But the Mexican-American War uh, was really between about 1845 to 1848, started with the Alamo. Uh, Texas um, wanted to belong to the U.S., but it had a lot of politics between um, President Polk wanting to, to uh, during his election, to expand the U.S. territories. It was really annexed um, with, with force. Uh, I don't think Mexico wanted this war, but we kind of pushed and forced them into it. And um, it's, a, it's a really dirty affair when you get into the, to the politics of it all, but it really had high stakes. California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, uh, which would be added to the United States. And when you really see what happened, you really feel bad and sorry for, for, for Mexico. So... Um, that's just my opinion, uh, just by reading. I know I need to read a little bit more, and I'm sure I'll get educated. But uh, I started this project, and I absolutely love it, and I hope you love it too. Anyway, I hope that you uh, enjoy this army. But hey, watch until the um, until the end. I uh, have a little bit of a, a game there between John and myself, and... Um, we played the Rifa, the Battle of Palo Alto, using black powder. And um, uh, it's, uh, it was a pretty and funny in engagement. So I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, these were movies that uh, were captured by him, of course, so they're very one-sided. Hey, this is Kevin. Uh, this time... I don't know why I wasn't planning to do this at all, but this is the uh, Mexican army of the Mexican-American War. Uh, yes, I went overboard again, as I usually do, but uh, this is just a spectacular army, and it's, it's massive. Now, I have to say, I bought most of the figures uh, and painted from, from my friend Jeff. But I went back in and touched it up to kind of make it my style, adding highlights and washes and facial features and rebased it and flags. And so uh, he really did a great start. And I think these are Falcon figures, if I'm not mistaken, or Frontier, one of the two. I always get that wrong. I, I know I should get better, but um, I'm, I'm, I just don't. But anyway, um, I love taking something and fixing it up and making it my own. Not that it needed fixing. Jeff is a very, very good painter, but I just always like to make things mine and somehow organize it for different things. I, I organized this army to play black powder. And my black powder units are basically three, three stands um, make make a regular size unit. And of course, then I can split it down or do whatever I want. But these are just really, really nice figures. I'll take a flag one. Um, I, I really just enjoyed um, how they how they looked. And um, yeah, it, it, they just turned out really nice. It's a little bit of basing and, and try to make it a little bit more desert-esque. Um, and yeah, I think it I think it turned out right. So I don't know how many figures I have here, but uh, certainly enough to do any battle of the Mexican American War, and probably then some. Um, but anyway, I've got uh, um, basically one full division there, and one full division there. These are my dismounted or mounted dragoons. Um, these are old glory figures that I brought in. Um, I had uh, some extra cactuses that uh, Jeff had, and I just put them on the bases. I thought that looked really cool. And 
Yeah, I just kind of gave it some flair. You'll see the uh, cactuses spread out all over the place. But um, yeah, I had a very nice book that I bought about uh, the uniforms, and that's exactly uh, what I what I did. So Summer Old Glory that I added in here, the Hussars, Lancers, uh, some of the baggage, and yeah, I mean it's it's a nice army, and. To be honest, how it actually played with black powder was actually a lot of fun, which I'm going to post alongside of this video. It's kind of a uh, goes together. So anyway, I think I think that the Mexican army is just super colorful. Um, it's almost like a, a French um, army, to be honest. Well, you got a little cannon crock cook it there but um yeah every unit that you could possibly imagine um is in this army yeah we we had a, a gaming weekend um today actually and that's why i pulled them out we wanted to do a black powder and try to get a little bit better at, at doing it and we played the um, Battle of Palo Alto. And John played the Americans and I played the Mexicans. And I tried very hard to add flavor as to the different armies. Whether I got it right or wrong, I'm not sure. But um, how, we, how we actually did it was, after all of my reading, I found out that the Mexicans were very organized. They were resilient. They were disciplined, and they took a lot of punishing. They did that they were told, and they just stood in line almost like the Russians uh, getting pounded at Zorndorf. So I gave them a, a resilient factor. So they had a they they shrugged off um, hits on a three through six versus a four, five, or six. And the Americans, um, well, the and and the Mexicans, they had had not very, very good weapons. They had the old British Bess. So I shortened up their ranges and that worked out great and gave them a minus one shooting because they weren't very good shots. Their artillery couldn't move once it was set. So it was a very, very interesting game. The Americans, I gave a tough fighter rule. So they had plus one in melee and they had, they had uh, uh, better, better muskets. They shot a lot further. So it really made for an interesting game. And then also the flying art artillery. Um, I made some rules for that, that they could move, set up, and fire in the same, in the same turn. Um, very interesting. The game worked out perfectly. It was very balanced. And we had a, we had a great time. And that'll be following up um, with showing off the army. Well, I'm sorry about the voice quality of of the movie this time, but it's um, well, it's not professional. It's just a a collector and a gamer just trying to put some things together for other gamers, just for some entertainment. But uh, anyway, um, now we get to the Battle of Palo Alto. I mean, not in its entirety. I'm certainly not of the quality of the Seventh Son. His black powder videos are just spectacular or others for that matter. It was just two friends having fun on a Sunday morning. And um, well, it wasn't that fun for me. I got spanked pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at what John made. Ask me the fatal question. Kevin. Yeah, what? I'm not what sure. happened? What happened here? What happened here? Oh my God. Okay, ask me the question. How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel, Kevin? How does it make you feel? Let me let me let me just say humiliated. Let me just say this. So Kevin has gone through his an entire army. So what is this unit called? What is this one called? El No Movo. El El, <laughs> El, El, El Movo. El Movo. El screw, failed. El screw offo. Failed. El Incampitanto. Failed. <laughs> El Tariano de Cajones. <laughs> Al queso enchiladas. <laughs> so Mr. Kevin has literally. Missed every roll on his command. Nothing moved. 
nothing at all. Even and a blunder. Even a blunder. Any roll to blunder roll. So we're playing uh, Black Powder. Uh, we were playing the Mexican American War. What's the no, name of this? No, this is the American War. This is American War. What's the name of this battle? What's the name of the battle? You can't even fucking pronounce it. <laughs> Palo Alto. Uh, yeah, El Taco. El so the American. <laughs> The Americans are definitely moving up. We got Taylor coming up here. We got a bunch of Amer I don't even know the names of all these guys, but it's a lot of fun, guys. We're having a really good time. This is our swamp area. We can't go through there. But my guys are just holding line. We've got to really technically break each other. And what the really main objective is, trying to protect the baggage train back here against this this monster of a unit here of cab. So that's where we're at right now. Kevin just had a really bad roll. Trust me, he will be back. We are on turn three right now and getting ready to go into turn four. Sign it out. Thank you, Kev. <laughs> well, I don't go on camera very often, so that was just a, a little non-treat for you guys, but it was a very hard, hard fought game. Uh, the Mexicans could hardly move. I couldn't make any die rolls to move my brigades. I think I failed 12 different times. But nonetheless, we put up a good fight at the end. It came down to a couple of very small engagements. And um, I think John was surprised how close this game really was. So John and I finally finished our game of Palo Alto using black powder. And I have to say it turned out a really, really fun game. Really exciting right down to the end. Uh, John just moved up between the uh, chaparral and the uh, the marsh to try to push me away. I had a really tough time trying to break that line. But finally, John couldn't stand it anymore and charged his dragoons into the, into the uh, Mexican cavalry here on the left flank under the leadership of Terrajon. But alas, at the end, the Mexican troops fell back and one of the units broke, but not after seriously giving the American Dragoons a real pounding. It almost broke right here. We could have won, that's me. But alas, my die rolls were not, were not in the cards, to be honest. So John finally won this game, hard-fought game. The Mexican army on the right flank pushed, pushed the Americans almost off the board and would have circled around to take the baggage train, but uh, it didn't happen either. I tell you what happened was the die rolls to move my troops just didn't happen. Wow, I had over 12 brigade fails. Can you believe that? Well, that's the end of the, the video for the Mexican army. Leave your comments and tell me how I need to do this better. <laughs>